Hotep, Tekman 2. My name is Lord Yukili Osai. I knew Ra. And I'm back with some more ancestral, you know what I'm saying, information for you. And um, I'm broadcasting to you on behalf of 13 Cosmic Laws in Astrology. So, um, I took you to a, a little quick little shrine that I had. And we was talking about, you know, honoring the ancestors or whatnot. Quick little, I don't know if you can see it. This is my laptop webcam. I don't know if you can see it real good. Anyways, let me get into the information. That's not even relevant right now because, you know, if, you, if you've been watching, if you watched that other video, you've seen what was taking place. So I want to share with you, right, that um, also you can, um, when you're honoring your ancestors, you definitely want to have some water there too. You know what I'm saying? Give them salutation with water. You know what I'm saying? Pouring out the water and naming them by name. name. So when you say, you know, when you say uh, uh, um, ancestors come forth, when I call one by name, I call them all by name, name to none name, no to none known, ancestors come forth. When you say their name, like say, like this is not the name of my ancestors, but hypothetically speaking, if one of your ancestors name was Sally Mae, you would say Sally Mae come forth and then you will pour out the water into a container. You know what I'm saying? Like, like an example. You will have, you know what I'm saying, you will have your water right here, and then you'll be like, Sally May, come forth. Ashe or Hotep. And then you'll be like, uh, Mike, uh, 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 George Jones, come forth. Ashe or Hotep or whatever you say. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, um, Dennis Gregory, come forth. Hotep. Uh, 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 Rebecca. Montgomery, come forth, Hotep. And so that basically what you're doing is you're calling them by their names and you're pouring out the water to give them salutation. Now that they're here, you can get into, you know, um, spending time with them and asking them for specific things. Also, right, um, um, dealing with ancestors, you will find that there's usually one central ancestor that will contact all of the ancestors, round them up and bring them to you. But that's when you get more into honoring your ancestors. Like me, I got one specific ancestor. She's older. She'll go and collect them all and have them waiting for me when I call upon them. You know what I'm saying? And that's real. So that's like when you get more into it. But um, basically, you can bring forth any of your ancestors. They come, you know what I'm saying? And you can ask them for specific things. So just take inventory on some of the ancestors that you know. You know what I'm saying? And some of the qualities that they have when they was in this world. Like I have an ancestor. When he was here, he was very, very overprotective. So when I need protection, you know what I'm saying? Or when I need to back the police up off of me or the system up off of me, I, I instantly set up a quick little shrine, you know what I'm saying? And bring him here and tell him what's going on and have him go ahead and do whatever he going to do to protect me. And pretty much, you know, um, the, um, honoring your ancestors is like so much stuff that you can do. People think that you just bringing them here and you just talking to them and that's it. Nah, you can bring them here for protection. You can bring them here to clean, clean up financial debt. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was doing ancestral work with somebody and she had um, $25,000 in debt. She was in debt $25,000. I did some ancestral work with her, you know what I'm saying, and some other work with her and her ancestors went and did whatever they did, but they cleaned her whole debt up, you know what I'm saying? It's when when they when they when the, um when she had to contact them, you know what I'm saying? Cause they stopped contacting her. She had to contact them and find out what was going on. You know what I'm saying? And they said, Oh, we have no record at all of you ever being in our system. We don't even what are you talking about? See what I'm saying? That's how deep their ancestors are. That's how available they are. And that's how how right this is. Like you don't even know, like this is an untapped market. Uh, honoring your ancestors is so untapped. That's why right now, if you start honoring your ancestors, your life would change. You know what I'm saying? In a major way. So, you know what I'm saying? She instantly gave me a very handsome donation for the work that I was doing with her. You know what I'm saying? She dropped like eight racks on me and some other stuff like that. That's $8,000 for all those who don't know what uh, racks is. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, I give you a lot of free information. So, um, if you've been helped by any of this information at all, you know what I'm saying, then go ahead and please leave a donation. If it's 50 cents, I appreciate that. If it's $50, I appreciate that. If it's $50,000, I appreciate that. If it's $5 million, I appreciate that. But please, man, you know, if you've been um, helped, 
know what I'm saying, or, or, or favored in any way by any of the information, man, and show that love back, you know what I'm saying, please give that love back by donating, you know what I'm saying, also, if you really value these, these, um, these videos that I'm doing, then you gotta fight for these videos. You gotta support these videos. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and make some donations. You know what I mean? You 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 will fight for for that uh, In and Out Burger that you want. You will fight to support you know causes overseas that you don't really know it, where the money going. We'll fight for this cause right here. This is a just cause. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just pray that you. I mean, I, I just pray that you will get behind this. You know what I mean? And just show your kindness, you know, just like I, I'm, I'm sharing with you the wealth of my um, of my um, of my knowledge of how to work with ancestors. The things that's taking place in the world right now, how to protect yourself from chemtrails, how to use your abilities to change realities. You know what I'm saying? Different herbs and spices and the intel. All of the information I'm giving to you, I'm giving you an abundance and I'm giving it to you in, for free. And in return, you know what I'm saying? If you've been helped in any kind of way, please show that love back by just donating. You know what I'm saying? Or just leave comments. You know what I'm saying? And let's just build. Let's just build on ancestral stuff because there's never just a one one formula to honoring your ancestors. There's just different, so many different ways and so much stuff that you can do with honoring your ancestors. Like, you know, I was honoring my ancestors and then I went and I had to go meet somebody and I was walking, right? So then I said, I asked my ancestors to walk with me. So as my ancestors, as I, as I said that, I closed my eyes and I began to walk faster. So I started experimenting that. I was like, wow. So then I said, ancestors run with me. And then I start running and I was like running super fast, like fast as I ever ran in my whole entire life. You know what I'm saying? And if they probably re would have recorded that, I probably would have dusted off some people in the, in the, in the real race. You know what I'm saying? And um, so our ancestors can, can accelerate our natural abilities they can take that to a whole nother level you know what i'm saying doing ancestral work you can tap into superhero abilities you know what i'm saying doing ancestral work you can fly your ancestors to come and get into your body you know what i'm saying and fly you off somewhere your ancestors to come get into your body and allow you to run at the speed of light your ancestors to come get in your body and allow you to be invisible you know what i'm saying your ancestors to come get in your body and give you incredible strength you know there's all kind of different things that you can do and and, uh, and and honoring your ancestors, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I, yo, like I said, that lady, you know what I'm saying? I did some ancestral work with her, and they went and they cleared off her debt, but they cleared off every record of, of her known in the system. They just deleted it all, you know what I'm saying? And that's the power of, of dealing with your ancestors. That's the advantage of dealing with your ancestors. So, you know, the, 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 the there's a ripe field for ancestral work right now. You know, it's an untapped market. You definitely want to get into that. Um, I'm giving free consultations to those who want um, a little few pointers on, you know, how to build an ancestral uh, shrine, different altar tools that's necessary in building your shrine effectively. You know, certain rituals. I'm giving away certain free rituals. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I'm, I'm doing some, some free consultations. For the first 20 people, it's free, and after that, I'm charging, you know what I'm saying? But it's a very reasonable price, and it's based on donations, so um, so contact me. Yes, um, definitely contact me. Also, you know, um, I want to share with you that um, if you know some of your, your ancestors are people who are in your family and who are blood-related, you know what I'm saying? They're blood-related and in your family, so, you know... Um, and if you know just a little bit about your ancestors and what their characteristics or whatever their personality or how they were in this earth, then that's how they can assist you. So if they was like overprotective, you could call on that one to protect you. If that person was more vocal and more expressive verbally, then, then when you're lacking, when you need to tune up your throat chakra and you and you need to be more verbally expressive, call on the assistance of that ancestor. You know what I'm saying? When that one big mama had when big mama had all that wisdom and knowledge and you need wisdom and knowledge and guidance in your life, call on that ancestor. You see what I'm saying? And so that's pretty much giving you quick little pointers on you know um how to access your ancestors and um how to use your ancestors in the best way that's for you now where are your ancestors your ancestors are where your ancestors go 
and that's across the rainbow bridge in their shrines that they prepared for you and your ancestors. You see what I'm saying? Some ancestors are on the astral plane fighting for you. Some ancestors are on the esoteric plane fighting for you. And some ancestors are still here on earth, but they're in the fourth dimension. They're in the spirit realm, so you can't see them. They're in the spirit realm, so you can't see them. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is something that I, uh, my ancestors told me to share with everyone around you. If you are smoke, if you smoke cigarettes, you know what I'm saying, and you need to stop smoking cigarettes unless it's for honoring your ancestors. Because, like, I do a lot of medium work. All right, because we are 13 cosmic laws in astrology, so I do a lot of medium work. You know what I mean? And working with different um, um, spirits and contacting past lovers, um, past uh, uh, people will come to me and be like, I need you to contact my past lover. Or people will come to me and say, I need you to contact my pet who passed away. You know what I'm saying? And all of this. So I, I work as a, I do a lot of medium work. And so, you know, if you know anything about the terminology, the term walk-ins, if you're familiar with walk-ins, you will know that there could be a spirit that's in the in the, third, in the fourth dimension, which is another realm here on earth that you can't see. It's a spiritual realm. And that, that ghost or that spirit can be right here. And I'm right here. When I smoke the tobacco, right, this allows a walk-in to occur. This, 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 that is the right to passage for a walk-in. Yes, you heard it right here. You know, Lord Yukiniosai has told you the truth. When you smoke a cigarette or when you get tobacco into your system, that is a rite of passage. Whether you know it or whether you don't know it, that is a rite of passage for your for your vessel to be occupied by a spirit. They can come in into your vessel when you're smoking the tobacco. You know what I'm saying? And so, yes, I'll let you know that right now. And so, you know, I smoke some tobacco and then that the, the, the spirit of that loved one to be there. They come into my body and occupy my vessel temporarily, momentarily. You know what I'm saying? And then I communicate to that person what their loved one wants to say to them. You know, and I serve as the medium between both worlds, between the fourth dimension and the third dimension where we're living at currently in the third dimension. You know what I'm saying? So I contact spirits. I do a lot of uh, spirit guide work. I do a lot of... Um, Dealing with spirits in the fourth and fifth dimension, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with past lovers, this went uh, past family members, past lovers, past pets. I deal with a lot of those things. So if you're looking for consultation, you know what I'm saying? You definitely want to um, get at me, leave me some of your information, and um, we can go from there. Um, if you've been helped by any of this again, um, please leave a donation. Also, you know, I've been, I got these, these, these chakra wands. They've been going real fast. You know what I'm saying? I'm selling these chakra wands for a hundred and thirty dollars, hundred and thirty dollars. And um, if you, if you, if you looked at my video when I was talking about the solar eclipse is taking place on May 9th, May 10th. You know what I'm saying? Then um, the one following, uh, I was talking about the chakra wand. Then you know what I'm saying? Um, and, but you want to look at the other video when I was talking about the chakra wand and the different, um, advantages of having one of these right now and the price range for this. So, um, between now and May 10th, I'm giving these chakra wands that are valued at $130. I'm giving them away for a hundred dollars. All right. So first it was just, I was modifying $30 off of it and, and selling it from for a hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying, for the first 20 people, but they went so fast, they going so fast, people are like buying them so fast, so all the way up until the eclipse, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to be selling these chakra wands for a hundred dollars, so you definitely want to jump on this, you know what I mean, um, all those who are into meta metaphysical healing, all those who are into Wicca, witchcraft, or dealing with the, uh, the elements of uh, wind, Fire, earth, water, and ether. I teach five elements. You know what I'm saying? Um, dealing with the supernatural and stuff like that. You definitely want to get one of these chakra wands. All those uh, pagans who deals with nature in the David community, who communicates with plants and animals and stuff like that. You definitely want to purchase one of these chakra wands. If you into like, you know, Reiki healing and stuff like that and tuning up the chakra system, you definitely want to purchase one of these chakra wands. Um, on each end, I have quartz crystals on each end. If you can get a close up on this, this is real wood. You see the amber, you see the, you see the, the onyx, you know what I'm saying? You see the rose quartz, you see the, you see the, the toy quartz, you see the, the gold flakes, you see the, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, it's real authentic. My name is Lord Yukili Osai. 
Hopefully this video was very helpful for you. I love you. Hotep. And hopefully y'all see.